Hi everybody and welcome to um, this tutorial on how to set up the Airbus A320neo mod. Now I've already done a tutorial but this particular modification is moving at pace so I just wanted to um, redo it and show you um, some key things that you need to do to make sure this aircraft flies properly. Okie dokie, I'm going to jump through. Now some of the things are the same but some things have changed so make sure you pay attention like you're at school, be a good boy. There we go, right. Okay, so um, all joking aside, jump in, battery one on, battery two on, if you've got external power, fantastic, connect it. Next thing we need to do is the um, ideas, and we just turn those to nav. Um, fuel pumps need to go on now, if you haven't fueled yet, in real world you wouldn't put them on but for this example um, we'll say we have you can adjust the cockpit heat and heat of the other areas of the aircraft um, obviously that's just for um, looks it doesn't actually do anything I'm going to turn on our nav light so a ground crew know we're on board this point I'm going to start the APU as that will take some time We'll come back to the start button in just a second. Next thing we need to do is turn up our screens. We've got these to turn up. We then have these to turn up. We then need to turn up the the top and some lighting. The reason why we put lighting on, if you look at the landing system button, that's affected by the lighting so we'll turn that up as well okay now when we have a look down at our APU screen we'll see that at the minute um, we will have the open um, command come up on the screen when we can start the APU so whilst we're waiting for that we'll notice on on our uh, um, ECAM page here we've just got 10 minutes for alignment on um, the it is flap is now open we can now hit start now going to just jump in to our flight plan for just a minute I'm not going to set all of this up because we don't need to um, however initialization we're going to go from um, where are we we're in Copenhagen so remember the code was EKC I'll remember it in a minute EKCH and we're going to go to, to Birmingham EGBB and we're going to click on there we don't have the company routes yet but that is coming that is on the roadmap okay cost index for this flight is going to be 51 and our flight level is going to be 360 and we move on to the next screen um, before loading um, we went to the weight and balance screen and the, the weight of this was 21, uh, the centre of gravity was 21.78. So we're going to type in 50.2 slash 21.78. Pop that inside there. Next thing, which is really key and really important that people are missing and not doing and it's causing a big problem, is you need to go to your performance page and then you need to put in what altitude the aircraft can thrust at. Now this will be on your noise abatement on your charts. If you don't put this in, you will sit at a, um, a really low output from the thrust all the way up to climb um, and you'll be wondering what's wrong with the aircraft. So um, to do this, we're just going to put a forward slash 1000 and we're going to click our um, the right button would help into there. Flaps stay will be flaps too. I'm not using a flex um, temperature on this departure. Flight plan out. Um, I'm, I'm not going to put all this in today. Um, previous tutorials will show you how to do that. That, my friends, other than setting um, the barrow, which will be on here, and setting up the aircraft for the rest of the flight is the very basics of what you need to get this Airbus mod um, ready to go. Um, so, 
there we go that's the main basis of the tutorial if you go back to one of my earlier tutorials we'll get into a lot more detail around some of the systems and how to program routes and things but this was really just to show you how you bring the new modification um, up from cold and dark and actually how to program the FMC to some of the things that people are forgetting um, and which are causing problems in their flights um, Hopefully that's been useful. Um, if you'd like to know anything else, please leave it in the comments and uh, I will re-record another tutorial as and when we've got new features. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.